All right, it's time now for another of a periodic series of profiles about the people who are running for governor in Rhode Island. This is our third one. It uh, today involves the incumbent, and it all comes to us compliments of the Providence Business News. Mark Murphy's the editor of the newspaper and joins us here. Raimondo, I'm doing my job is the uh, headline uh, on the print edition of the current edition of the newspaper. And she's had to, to say that uh, recently more and more in terms of uh, increasing amounts of criticism from the other candidates. Well, you know, it's so interesting. It reminds me, I don't know if you remember the movie, An American President, and Michael Douglas plays a, the incumbent president who's being challenged by people. And he says, this is a serious job for serious people, and I'm, I am the president. And I think that, you know, Governor Raimondo feels the same way to a certain degree. I am the governor. And she feels, and this is one of the, uh, uh, we have a sidebar always, and this one is about leadership. She has a real record to run on. So, of course, people are going to say, well, you know, depending on who you are, you either don't like the record or you do like the record. And that's really sort of what her campaign is about. And uh, you, one of the questions asked in the profile is, is, is she handling this campaign differently as an incumbent from four years ago? Well, I think that four years ago, she had pretty much only one public policy thing to talk about, uh, which was the pension reform, which eventually through the courts and more negotiation was put in place. Now she has, she finished off the pension reform, but now you have an unemployment rate that's down. You have a number of companies that are either expanding or coming into Rhode Island due to the, the uh, programs, economic incentive programs that they've put in place. Uh, they have a, a series of, of and, and not just big companies, but small companies, a series of what they believe are strong achievements that say Rhode Island is moving in the right direction. And yet there is still a lot of criticism concerning the uh, Human Services Department, uh, computer debacle, other things too. Is this, does she think, and maybe do you think, is this mostly talk radio criticism or is it more widespread than that? I think it's both. Uh, you know, the, the UHIP program was, uh, she didn't start it. She inherited it, right. but then it probably rolled out too soon and it wasn't ready. And so now they've been, and the cost keeps going up. Now, the, the cost keeps going up, but the, uh, the governor will tell you we're not paying for this cost because they gave us a defective product. But sort of the management of making that happen and making sure it works does call into question whether or not she did the right job of leading there. And, and the question is, did she have the right people underneath her running it? Should she have had a more direct hand in it? Her leadership style is probably a little more hands-off and delegating. And so in this case, the delegation didn't quite work out. So that's a legitimate question. And that is obviously the subject of the accompanying article that you mentioned, leadership. And, and I read that, and there's even a difference of opinion on whether her leadership skills are taking the state in the right direction or the wrong direction. Well, again, I think it's, it's the issue of how do, you, how do you lead? Now, it's not as if everyone else in this, in this group of candidates, and, and we're talking to five of them, essentially. Uh, you have the governor, you have Matt Brown, who's running against her as a Democrat. You have Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. You have Patricia Morgan, a state uh, House uh, uh, Republican. And then you have Giovanni Ferrucci, who uh, used to lead Alex Anani. Then he uh, led Ben Rus, That was taken away from him. So you have all these. You, you don't have anyone who really has a similar leadership record to look at. Maybe uh, Mayor Fung, and there are questions on, on his end as well. Much more about this in the two articles in the current edition of the Providence Business News, uh, in print and online. Mark, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Frank.